Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Exploring Women Artists through Facebook Live. Um, today's project is going to be on Laurel Birch. She is an American artist from San Francisco. She was born um, in the 60s and she died in 2007. Um, but she's really interesting because she was a self-taught artist. Um, in San Francisco, she dropped out of high school and um, she started selling, making her own art and selling it just on the streets. And now she's this really famous and well-known artist um, who's very famous for her cats. Um, so throughout her life, she suffered from osteoporosis, which is a bone disease. It's very rare. Um, and that basically means that your bones are very brittle or fragile and so they break really easily for example you can yawn and break your jaw so she spent a lot of time in um in the hospital recovering from her multiple uh bone breaks and that is where she made a lot of her art which is interesting um um last week i did an uh, lesson on Frida Kahlo who also um, had a lot of spent a lot of time in the hospital because of her um, bus accident where she also started making a lot of art so I wanted to draw a parallel between the two artists um, so because she spent a lot of time in the hospital that's when she made a lot of her art um, and she started off making jewelry she would find old metal and use an old frying pan and hammer the metal to flatten it on this frying pan which i thought was interesting that's how she started so she started selling her art on the street um and then overnight she became really famous and very well known um, and she's still pretty well known i'm gonna show you a couple of her pieces um to see if any of you recognize them um so she started by making jewelry and now she is she sells her jewelry but she's really famous for her feline frolic um which is her all of her works on cats she does a lot of work with cats um kind of like yayoi kusama the woman um she was a, she's another artist that i did last week she focused a lot on pumpkins because she loved pumpkins and laurel birch focused a lot on cats because she loved cats um now, I did a little research into why she did cats so often, um, and I'm not sure how entirely reliable this is, but I thought it was interesting that she really liked cats because, as a child, because of her bone disease, she had to, um, she, she couldn't play a lot of, um, rough activities or anything like that, so she spent a lot of time just inside on her couch, playing it safe. And um, she really liked cats because the cats were able to come and sit on her lap and she could pet them and be calm with them, um, which was nice for a girl to have like um, sort of like a comfort animal that wouldn't risk her breaking any bones. Um, so she's very famous for her cat paintings, but she doesn't only do paintings. She also um, designs mugs and cloth napkins and other jewelry she has a lot of cat jewelry um she does handbags um and a lot of different designs on a lot of different mediums which is cool she doesn't just do painting she also does um quilts so she makes a lot of um cat designs on quilts um or blankets so i wanted to show you some of her work um this is what I mean when I say feline frolic. I'm not sure if any of you guys recognize this work, but I've definitely seen her cats before, and I just didn't know that it was her. Um, so what she does with cats is she, as you can see, uses a lot of different colors, very vibrant, very bold, eye-catching colors. Um, and she does a lot of different patterns on her cats, and she makes them, their eyes, really big, which is, which is cool. Um, so this is one of her feline frolic paintings, and this is a quilt. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is like a square on a blanket. Um, 
so these are her feline frolic works um here you can see she made a feline frolic mug a lot of cat lovers really like these mugs um down here are the cloth napkins that i was talking about so they print her cat designs on cloth napkins and down here are some of her earrings um and she doesn't only do cats she does a lot of different other earrings which are also really cool so i wanted to show you guys that um so those are some of her work she works with a lot of different mediums but today i thought it would be fun to um give make a handout for you guys um about her cats because that's what she's most famous for that you guys can color in yourself um i have printed out the handout which i will link in the description of this video um you can print it out and create your own version of the feline frolic so this is what i did i used a lot of different colors um and it was really fun to color it in. Um, as you can see, I used a lot of different colors. I wanted to try to kind of imitate um, Laurel Birch's work because I think the use, her use of color is really fun and nice to look at. So um, here's what I did. As you can see, I used a lot of different colors. Um, and she uses multiple colors on faces and she also does patterns on her cats you can see it in this one she does a lot of patterns i didn't do that but you feel free to do whatever you like um so here's just a little bit description about her and this will be blank when you print it out and you can color it in however you like um i suggest googling laurel birch feline frolic or laurel birch um and seeing her kind of art because i know i showed you a couple of examples but um looking yourself to see what kind of colors and styles she uses will hopefully get you inspired to create um your own version of her feline frolic um so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I will link um, the PDF handout in the description of this video so you can print it out. Um, and again, if you just Google search Laurel Birch Feline Frolic or Laurel Birch, you'll see a lot of her art and hopefully you'll get inspired by that. Um, tune in again on Friday for my next Exploring Women Artists class on Elizabeth Catlett, who's a really interesting artist. Um, I hope everybody has a good rest of their day. And if you wanna share your final work with us, you can use hashtag loveartsphereinc on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy today's project. Thank you.